With Flux 2.0, you are now able to group timelines using something called containers. By using containers, you are able to keep things organized so that each person knows at a glance what's going on with those timelines. To add a new container, you click on the folder icon next to the sequence dropdown. This creates a basic default container, which you can then customize its name and color. However, when you're creating many sequences, it's not practical to set these by hand every time, especially when it comes to setting colors. For this reason, Flux allows you to define default containers. In the Flux settings asset, you'll see a section called Default Containers. Here you define the container names and their respective colors. To add them to your sequence, you click on the same button, but since you have default containers, it will now show you a list of all the options. This way, since Flux settings are an asset, everybody working in the project will be able to add the same containers. And if you want to move objects between containers, you simply have to drag them around.